Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step breakdown of how I made this animation project from beginning to the end. And also by the end of this video, I will also refer all the tutorials and provide the links for the techniques I used in this animation project. At the very beginning of any project, I do some research on the topic and then pick up a pencil and a paper and do some rough sketch to put all the ideas on paper. For the guitarist character, I took some references from real life guitarists and rock stars and then started doing some rough sketches to implement the character design in flat style. Then I took some references for the key poses of a person playing a guitar and then I created some thumbnail drawings based on it. So these key poses will be used for the references for the final animation. Now after finalizing everything, I jumped into Adobe Illustrator to design the character. To keep things simple, I used basic shapes with black stroke and white fill to design the structure of the character and the overall proportion of the character. After the basic structure of the character is completed, I proceeded with the guitar design. Here I again used basic shapes for this. I also modified the shape a little bit by adjusting the vertex position and changed the bezier handles. Now, after the overall structure of the guitarist is completed, I started adding colors. So I tried out different color palettes. For this illustration, I decided to go with a dark theme. So I picked some colors from Pinterest and Adobe Color. And once the colors were selected, I started adding more detailing on the character and then proceeded with the background elements illustration in the same process. So here I am with the illustration I would need for this guitarist animation project. So then I separated the layers as per my requirement to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. Now let's check out the After Effects workflow for this project. In After Effects, I started with the rigging process. So first I rigged the face of the guitarist to animate it in fake 3D. So to rig the face, I used Twig Bezel plugin. So in Twig, I used Twig connectors. I picked a 2D slider for this one so that I have an option to animate the character both in X and Y axis. Then I parented all the facial elements with a null and then created three set of keyframes in both X and Y axis. After that linked the properties with sliders in both X and Y axis. And now this character's head is fully rigged to animate. So to animate the face of this guitarist in fake 3D, I only need to move the slider controller in the direction I want it to move and here is how it looks. So next I rigged the arms and legs of the character. For that I used rubber hose to here. So I added a hose for each arms and legs. In a hose created by rubber hose has a start controller and an end controller. For the end controller you can change the few settings of the hose. So here I adjusted the length and the joint roundness. Now after that for the arms hose I parented the host controller near the chest with the chest layer and the other controller with the hand layer. Similarly for the legs, I parented the controller near the hip with the hip layer and the other controller with the foot layer. Then I parented head with the neck and neck with the chest and chest with the body and then body with the hip layer. And now the guitarist character is fully rigged to animate. To animate a musician such as guitarist or a drummer, you can always use a soundtrack as a reference to match the character's movement. So then I started animating the character. So to animate the fingers, I used pin tool to distort the finger layers. So I first added few pins and then converted the pins into bone layers with Twig PCL plugin. So the advantage of using this pins converted into bones is that now I have individual layers for each of the pins with separate transform property. So I parented all these bones in a chain and then added rotation animation in a loop in all these layers. And then offset the keyframes to add some follow through. To animate the hair, here I again used pin tool and then converted the pins into bone layers. And then added rotation animation in a loop in all of these layers and then offset the keyframes to add some follow through. To animate the speakers, here I animated the scale property of the box and the inside elements in a loop and then offset the keyframes. To animate the background flash, I added some star shape layers and then animated the scale property and the rotation property in a loop. Then I duplicated the shape multiple times and repeated the animation to spread it out throughout the timeline. And here is how it finally looks. Lastly, I added some camera shake 
for the overall scene and for that I added a null layer and parented all the composition with this null and then added a slight position and a rotation animation to add some camera shake. So this is how it looks. Ok so these are the steps I followed throughout the project and the clip is ready to render. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your projects and if you want to learn how to rig and animate a character with Twig Basils then you can check out my other videos on character rigging and animation where I have explained it in full details. I will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. If you want to learn how to rig and animate a character using Rubber Hose 2 you can again check out the tutorial link from the description or you can click on the i button right now to check out the tutorial. And if you want to learn how to rig and animate a face of a character with Twig connectors then you can again check out the tutorial link from the description or you can click on the i button to on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Also if you want to learn how to animate 3D parallax effect in After Effects you can again click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. So that is it for this video. If you like the video then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then goodbye.